Hi guys and welcome back to DIY Ideas and welcome to a small comparison video and test video. Um, I actually got a new version of the puffy wool. This is the skinny version or fine version. I've already had a few different ones of these um, and I'm sure you've already seen them on some of my videos uh, with the big loops here. Then I've had something very similar just in two colors, um, this one. So this is like a double thread where you have yeah, two sides that you kind of can work at the same time and you get a really nice front and back side. And then we obviously have this in different colors, um, either one color or yeah, some color variations where you just have nice color fades. Um, here in both cases, it's like this. And this here is the fine variation or the fine version. And this is actually not a whole ball of yarn. It's a little small for that. Uh, it is a little bit of yeah leftover. Um, this was a hundred gram and this one is also a hundred gram in the fine edition. But um, yeah, this one, it has nine meters at the normal ones and the fine edition, um, it's almost, yeah, half more, so 50% more, so it's 14.5 meters, so a lot longer. And the loops, um, yeah, a lot smaller. Let's see, I'm trying to get the middle out here, or at least the center, <laughs> but it, honestly, it's looking quite good. This is the beginning. And yeah, this is not the beginning of the yarn, but um, yeah, the beginning that we have left. So here we have a nice size comparison. I'm just going to hold them kind of next to each other. And yeah, this is actually a pretty big um, difference, size difference here. So it's like almost double the size, I would say, um, compared to the fine one. I'm going to um, cut off a little piece here, just so we can open some of these loops. I'm gonna do the same for the thicker wool, thicker yarn. I'm going to also work with a little bit of the yarn here in a second so you can see what it looks like or what the differences are. So we have here two of the big loops and you can really easily just cut them apart like this just to create kind of like a regular thread without the loops. Um, okay, so this is the part of the um, that we get open. Uh, this is two loops. Okay, so that's the length that the wool would have if it wasn't loopy. <laughs> I'm going to do the same here with the other edition and I'm going to guess that I'm going to get about half of the length. I'm going to put it here. Okay, it's about maybe two thirds or maybe even three quarters um, of the length. It has uh, kind of like a stain here, but not a big deal at all. And yeah, you can see here um, just the length difference here. I'm going to kind of start working with this a little bit. I'm going to obviously take you along so you can see. I'm going to maybe take five loops here. Okay, I already counted them out. Five. And then I'm just going to work through it, pulling the loops. Um, here just from, um, yeah, just pulling the loops through here, very simply. And number five. Then we have five here. Then we continue here with the second row. We take the most outer one and pull it through. And then here we work across. And then here we are at the last one. That was the third row and I'm going to do row number four. And then I'll do row number, row number five. And then we have, yeah, a nice square. So we have, you know, a width of five and a height of five. Okay. 
And yeah, you can see here, um, I'm not gonna actually finish off these rows, but uh, we have five, um, five rows here and five basically columns, let's say. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you this also, obviously, with the other edition, with the fine edition. Um, I'm yeah really interested to see this. <laughs> I'm actually going to skip the first two here and open them up, actually, just so I have a little space. But actually, I think one is enough. Then I'm going to count them. Okay, here we have five. And then I'm going to pull the outer one through and kind of put the thread behind and then start with the crocheting. Um, I have, I was like a little worried just because they're so small and I was worried it was going to be a little more complicated or just a little harder. But honestly, this feels pretty easily. Um, this is, yeah, just working pretty well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have five here. Then we go back. One, two, three, four, and number five. Mm hmm. And here we have a little update already. It's not quite as fluffy. Um, well, it's not as like long. The fluff isn't as long maybe as in the other um, edition. Okay, we have three again. Um, I really like the color combination here. We have um, pink, blue, white, and yellow which looks just really cute. Okay, we have four. I'm gonna do one more. And the colors are actually a little longer, I think, the, the color sections. Okay, and then here we also have M5 worked all the way through and I left it open on the top and yeah you can see here the comparison in size um, you know obviously the same amount of work we have five on both sides here um, in height and in width and you can see yeah obviously there is quite a significant um, difference in size but also just in volume right um, so these are just like double the size in all dimensions. <laughs> um, the small ones are actually honestly really handy. You know, you can work with them really easily. You're still big enough for my fingers to go through. Um, so this is kind of what you do. You go in with your fingertip and then just pull the other one through. I'm going to show it here again. You're kind of like, you know, handing it to yourself. I'm just kind of like pushing through and then pulling it out. Um, so obviously you don't go through with to both fingers, but here you could, um, but it's not actually necessary. Um, this is just a little pushing, a little pulling, and then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a row number six here on the on the small one. But yeah, honestly, it's easy to work with. Um, I've also already done this uh, before where I actually do use a crocheting hook just to have, you know, a little bit more ease when pulling um, the hook the, or the loop through. Um, not quite as exhausting for the fingers, maybe, when you're doing something bigger, like a blanket. Um, I'm going to pull this out here, just so we can see the size comparison here again. I'm just going to put this on top, actually. Um, yeah, just in every way, it's about, you know, maybe three-fifths, <laughs> you can see, because obviously it's covering three of the five rows. Um, from yeah the other one and so this is the size difference basically is three-fifths uh, so just a little more than uh, half and yeah it's just perfectly fitting three-fifths um, 
it looks a little different, it, it just feels a little different in general. Um, obviously this one is very like big and this one just looks a little cuter, a little, you know, just less voluminous also. Um, also in thickness, yeah, totally. Um, the thread is obviously not as thick, so also obviously what we're making is not as thick, but also here, just looking at it from the side, you can see the big difference. Um, this is maybe kind of like the summer version, you know? But obviously, um, from the warming effect, um, it should be the same. Um, this is all 100% micropolyester. Um, so yeah, obviously still warming and super cozy. I really hope that you guys liked this little test over here or the comparison. If you did, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you back here at DIY Ideas.